I think a lot of people would be interested, especially with a lot of the changes and things in Amazon. And people have always been saying this, but they really seem to be saying it even more now that you know reselling is dead, online arbitrage is dead, drop shipping is dead. What are your your thoughts on that? Are you're obviously still doing it? Do you still see it as a viable thing that people can start doing? Okay, so the way I look at the question is what is arbitrage, drop shipping, all that? It's at a fundamental level, it's just trade. It's mm -hmm. buying low, selling high. Um, it's, you know, back in the day, you used to buy spices from India and sell them in the UK, for example. It's just exactly the same, but it's now, you know, now it's online. Now it's a lot more digitized, automated systems. You're working off platforms and leverage, but it is still just trade. People are always going to want those goods. And if anything, as we've seen over time, people want more and more goods. We have a lot more disposable income now than we've ever had. Um, it's how you do that, which is adapting. So is uh, buying low, selling high, which is fundamentally what arbitrage is, is that going to die? No, not at all. Do you have to be more careful about how you do it, looking at suppliers, and particularly in the US and right now, we're looking at you know, uh, supply chain and making sure they're legitimate. Also, as well, they're not stolen goods. That's a big problem right now. Um, mm -hmm. But also, as well, when we look at suppliers, like I might think the supplier is okay, but I say it doesn't matter what I think. It's what Amazon thinks. So therefore, I have to operate to a higher standard, um, yeah. and, you know, even with things like Section 3. So when we do our sourcing, we're looking at that. We're also, when we're looking at the products or the brands we're looking at, we're now saying, are there other lots of other sellers on that brand? Have they been selling it for a period of time? And is there evidence that they're safe? You know, that Amazon's not going to shut you down or that just, you know, remove that brand or it's like a dangerous brand. The other one we look at now, especially gatings, you know, I think Funko got gated recently. Lego recently got gated, which is like, wow. Uh, we've seen Nike come and go uh, quite a lot. Um, but the one thing we kind of think about now is, if this were to be gated, what then? So can I sell it on Walmart? Can I sell it on eBay? So again, what's the, like the next distribution channels? And while we might not utilize them right now, we are thinking about that. What's the fallback position? So yeah. is it as easy? No. Do we have to be more strategic in what we're doing? Yes. Is it particularly challenging? No, I don't think it's that hard, but I think it's just not as easy as it used to be. But I think that's the thing that you're ever going to, you're always going to see with any platform maturing, but there will always be demand for these products. And we've seen that. So I think the model will continue forever in, in the shapes and foot sizes that we've seen it. Yeah, I think that's the, the big thing is that the market is maturing. Government is getting involved, coming down on Amazon for things. And so that's coming back on us and forcing us to ensure that we're running our businesses like real businesses yeah. and professional business people, businessmen, and, uh, you know, following the rules and everything else that uh, Amazon has to do. And so they push that back on us. Yeah, I agree. And, and I think for us is, and that's the problem when people like, when people say, for example, they see people like you and me on social media and like, and I hate to call us influencers, but we do influence in a certain way. Um, you know, we cut things down, we make it more, into, you know, shorter, more entertaining, like the sourcing process or how we do it. They're like, wow, mm -hmm. that looks really easy. And like, you're seeing the highlight reel. Um, and they think getting into it's really easy. And it, like, conceptually it is, there is hard work. Um, but at the end of the day, whether it's easy or not, it's still a business and you've still got to treat it like a business. And businesses are hard. That's why 95% of all businesses fail in the in the US in five years, or should you say generally in the world, I'd reckon. Um, but most people, when they start this, don't realize actually like you've got to go through that learning curve and that takes time. Mm -hmm. So treat it like a business. Yeah.